Hello, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this model. So start a new part file. Click OK. The unit is inch. So select your right plane and sketch. Going to bring it over here, draw a circle. And let's draw a line at the bottom. Something like that. And Make sure your line has the horizontal relation. And let's draw a line from the origin point going down. Select the end point of that line and select your this line at the midpoint relation. So that's another way I was explaining in the other tutorial you can do it and make this line a construction line. Let's add a line over here from that point going up and we can do the same thing on this side. A line going up and kind of like somewhere over there. Select the circle and the line, add a tangent relation and do the same thing on this side and add a tangent relation. And let's trim this part out. We are using trim to closest. So once you have your shape, we'll add our dimension from this point to the bottom. The dimension is going to be 6.75. And the radius for our circle, it's going to be 3.5. And um, what else do we need? And the dimension at the bottom here is going to be 12. We have a fully defined sketch. Come to Feature, Extrude. And we are extruding it in this direction. And the distance is going to be 6.5. And let's select in there. I believe I have extra sketch somewhere over here. So let me just check. I think there's an extra line. Yep. See, I have an extra line over there. Just going to delete that. And I'll try that again. Extrude cut. Not extrude cut, extrude. And the distance is going to be 6.5. And click OK. All right. Select this and select normal 2. So what you want to do is Select the back part of it. I'll select this back face. Sketch. And number two. And I'm going to draw a circle. Select that circle and that edge. And add a core radio relation. And now we can go to feature. Extrude. Flip the direction you want it going in the other direction. So we are doing that because that is how it is given. So from the back part forward, it is going to be nine. So change your dimension to nine and click OK. Select this face and sketch number two. Let's draw another circle. The diameter is going to be 10. And that is given right here. And we are going to extrude it. And the distance is going to be 0.5. So come to feature, extrude, um, 0.5, and click OK. Next, we would select this face, the back side of that feature we just created. Select that face and sketch. Select number two. And let's draw a corner rectangle. Select the the line, holding down the control key, select your origin point and add a midpoint relation. And let's add a dimension from the bottom going up. It's going to be six. And the dimension here is also going to be six. Okay. Next, we are going to go just move it this way. Come to feature, extrude. We are extruding it back and the distance is going to be 8.25. And click OK. Next, let's select this face. So the back side, select that face, sketch, number two. Let's draw a corner rectangle over here. Let's add our dimension. It is 0.5. 
and from the top to this line is 0 0.4, 0 0.45, and from the top to this line is 0 0.9. We have a fully defined sketch. Come to feature, extrude cut, and select up to surface. And we want to select this face. So we are extruding it up to this face and click OK. And next, we are going to use the linear pattern to create the rest of this. Then we'll mirror it to the other side. Select linear pattern. And for the edge, we are going to select this line, this edge right there. So you should have an arrow going down. And for the dimension, we'll change this to 0.9. The number of instance we want is four. And the feature we are trying to create the linear pattern for is going to be this feature. And you should look at my settings. You should have this and click OK. Next, we are just going to mirror that to the next side. Select mirror. And we're going to mirror it by the front plane. The feature we want to mirror is our linear pattern. And click OK. Next, we are going to select this face. Sketch. Number two. Draw a circle. The dimension is going to be six. And come to feature, extrude cut. We are actually cutting it back and the distance is going to be nine and click OK. Select the inside face and sketch number two. I'm going to move it over here, draw a circle. The diameter is going to be 1.5. Come to feature, extrude cut. And it's going to be up to next and click OK. Next, we are going to draw this feature. So select this face and sketch. Draw a circle, something like that. Add a dimension to it. It is going to be 8.5. And make that circle a construction line. On that circle, at this quadrant, which is this one over here, Let's draw a, um, let's draw another circle on this circle. So just click here and draw the circle. So we are drawing the circle on this line, on this first circle we create. Select the center point of that circle and your origin point and add a vertical relation. So it does on the same line, which is like what they gave right here. Let's add a diameter for our circle. It's going to be 0.75. We have a fully defined sketch. Let's come to feature, extrude cut. And it's going to be up to next and click OK. And now we are going to use the circular pattern to create the, the other two patterns. So come to your circular pattern. For the perimeter in there, select this edge. And the instance, number of instances is three equal spacing and the feature we want to pattern is going to be this circle and you should get that and just in case if you don't see it click the full preview and it's going to show you the preview and click OK and we are done with this part I believe that's everything we need to create um, make sure you verify your dimensions too and thank you I will see you in the next tutorial where we are going to be creating the cover and the shaft. Thank you and I'll see you later. Bye.